G'day, bloody great day here in England. Uh, Tour de France, believe it or not, in England. Sun shining. This is summer here in England and uh, off to stage one. Should be a bit of a fairly uh, flat stage, a bit of a lumpy finish. Let's see how we go. It's really crucial stage for us today. If uh, we've got any chance of uh, taking the yellow jersey tomorrow, we really need to put Simon into the top ten, ideally. And uh, look, it's not a flat, flat stage today. It's going to be lumpy. It's an uphill finish and it's one that does suit us. Yeah, really pumped. And uh, yeah, just had the old team eating, so yeah, real pumped. A bit, bit nervous, a bit shaky, but yeah, I'll give it a go. So you're on the front row today, you might get to meet the royal family. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, I've never, I've never met them before. I don't know, yeah, I'll just have a, try, try and have a fool of myself. Uh, yeah. You're right, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know that feeling you get when you're Christmas morning, and yeah. you sort of wake up and you you got a hungry, sick feeling? Yeah. And you want to like go wake up mum and dad to open your presents? Yeah. Like that happened to me last year, and uh, so I'm pretty excited. I'm like that, that excited. It doesn't feel real yet. Um, <clears throat> it started to feel real at the presentation, and, and we just had a team meeting. And um, like Simon said, it's starting to really sink in what we're, what we're about to do. Uh, how'd you feel when you got the call up? Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, you know, we were just uh, hanging out in the club with, with Jay-Z down there and uh, having a good time and then got, uh, got rung up by Whitey, you know, just, uh, yeah mate, sorry I'm out, you know, got to get back over to Europe and uh, got on the private jet and flew straight over. Uh, you know, my favourite races of the year is, uh, is the classics and Whitey just said in the meeting that um, it's just 21 days of classics, so uh, yeah. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, I expect to see crowds line the whole way today. Um, the biggest crowds I've ever raced in front of here in the UK, so I think it should be uh, it should be out of control. Alright, so we're into it. We're uh, about halfway through the stage. Uh, what an amazing start it's been to the Tour de France in Yorkshire. Incredible amount of people out here. Is that the most you've seen, Craig? I've seen a lot of things in my time, mate, and I don't, haven't seen anything like I've seen today at the Tour de France. It's been sensational. So, fantastic. And what about si uh, Simon Yates? I was going to say Adam Yates. <laughs> Simon Yates uh, representing our team today there at the start line uh, with Will and Kate. Uh, what a fantastic kid he is, and I'm sure he's buzzing. What do you guys reckon? Yay! Hey! And is there a competition or something? Uh, no, it's just, just for fun. You guys are just into it. Jack Norris, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone keeping an awareness of where Gero is. And we do not want him one second in the wind from now to the finish, guys. It's a very good opportunity today to get a big result. The stage has been a lot harder than everyone is expecting. Yeah, pretty stressful. I think I just lost a year of my life after, yeah. uh, after that. Yeah, it's alright. I'll see how tomorrow goes. How's the start? <laughs> Chatting with the uh, royal family. Yeah, a bit nervous actually. I was, uh, I was just, I just didn't really know what to say. Yeah. You, know, you get what, to meet them? Yeah, yeah, oh, the start. Yeah. I don't know. Lost yeah. the words, mate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what do you say to them? <laughs> there right? you go. Yeah. <laughs> hey, up. <laughs> oh, my day was great. I've seen there are going to be some good selfies tonight on the internet. There was a fair few guys out there. Back to the Peloton, middle of the road. Nice shot and just sheer terror on the rider's face. So, can't wait for them to show up on Twitter. Bit of a prank in the finish, I suppose you're all wondering how Gero is, the man himself. Yeah, well, I've obviously um, had, uh, had uh, much better days, but uh, I've had much worse as well. So, unfortunately, I get tangled up there in the crash in, inside the last probably 200, 250 metres, and uh, I was feeling good. The guys did a great job today and, uh, and set me up uh, for a really good result, I think. so. It's really unfortunate to finish uh, things like that, um, but uh, you got to look on the positive side of these things. You know, the team rode really well, um, and I was feeling really good. So hopefully, I haven't pulled up too, won't pull up too sore, and be able to have a red hot crack tomorrow. 
Yeah, look, in tomorrow's stage, nothing's nothing's going to change the way we're going to target tomorrow's stage. Whether Simon's recovered 100% or not, we're going to fully support uh, Simon in the pursuit of winning the stage tomorrow. And we've also got Simon, Michael Albacini in, in good nick as well. So it's a tough stage. It's a mini Liège-Bastion-Liège. And if the crowds are anything like today, we're going to see uh, another incredible day at the Tour de France.